The uh, first presidential primary debate of the 2016 race is a wrap. But the big story came before the primetime show even started. So political analyst John Dayton, he was here yesterday. We brought him back today to get kind of your thoughts. Uh, and I will say, most of the things that happened last night, you predicted yesterday on this show. Every once in a while, I'm right. Uh, <laughs> one nice? of the main predictions, again, there were real no winners and losers last night because I did think it, that they all did well. But one of the things that we did discuss yesterday is the seven uh, candidates that were in the so-called pre-debate, There was some of them were complaining about it. And I said yesterday that I think, especially for Carly Fiorina, it worked to her advantage. And I think you're seeing that all over Twitter, everybody's, people even make comments, where did this lady come from, the ones who didn't know her? And right. That was a huge advantage. Uh, so several other candidates, Ben Carson, I think you see people are saying, never heard of this guy, and so they, they really did get on the national audience last and night. And Ben Carson had a great finishing line for the debate last mm -hmm. night. Best he one was, of the two-hour debate. Yeah, uh, he was terrific. Uh, without Agreed. a doubt. What a surprise. But Donald Trump, uh, you, you predicted that he could either hurt himself or not hurt himself. How did he do? Kind of a wash. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, having said that, I'm going to sound like I'm going to contradict myself because <laughs> uh, he didn't have any real strong uh, positive points. He had one big glitch, and that was t uh, two things, both the comment about women and then specifically mentioning Megyn Kelly. Uh, I mean, does he realize there's an old cliche, I'm so old I remember the cliche about print journalism, that you never pick fights with people who buy their ink by the barrel. Well, it also mm -hmm. goes true for electronic TV. Mm -hmm. And does he realize Megyn Kelly's TV show is one of the top rated ones mm -hmm. uh, He's every been on it a dozen she, she times. She has a huge following to right. go after her. It, it, I, I hate to use this word, but I, it, was, it was just stupid. It just was not smart politics. It was not. And and why, if you just said something to us very interesting in the break. We were talking about that p particular issue because I know a lot of females that I talked to, you know, were offended by the way he treated her and the things he said. But you said if you were advising him, you would have said, go about it in this way instead. For two reasons. Number one, I could have given him a better line. And number two, because it's true, he should have said, my daughter, who's a woman, mm -hmm. is the CEO of three of my companies. All of my companies have either senior VPs or CEOs who are women. The reason I'm rich is because I've got these women on my side. And if you want to accuse me of war on w women, there is a war on women, and I'm winning it because mm -hmm. these people are on my team. If he would have said that, that would have been a home run. There were no home runs last night, just some few solid hits. Mm -hmm. Although I think Marco Rubio really did sh shine last night. Uh, I don't know if it was his position on the stage, but he looked terrific, number one. Number two, it seemed to me that he had really good prepared uh, answers to the, a lot of these questions that he had really studied through it. I would say uh, uh, Rubio uh, and Kasich uh, oh, probably yeah. increased their uh, standing without a doubt. And again, Carson t increased it in the sense that more people are aware of him now. Right. Let's talk about, real quick, uh, Governor Kasich for a second. Because, you know, people in Ohio know him, but not a lot of general, you know, generally across the country, lots of people don't know him. But I would say that his comment on marriage equality really was, I mean, you're saying there weren't home runs. I think that, that was, was a home, a home run. run. Yeah. This is a guy, and we talked about this yesterday morning, that really has it all. Uh, again, he's governor of Ohio, which politically speaking is a very important state. Sure. A Republican can't win the presidency without Ohio. But if you know anything about his background, when he was in Congress, he specifically specialized in foreign policy, defense, et cetera. So he's got both local government, federal government, international politics, et cetera. He's probably the most qualified as far as a resume. So keep your eye on him. He possibly could go all the way. He's a... Uh, with the, probably about two or three others, a strong vice presidential contender. And Kasich was also a, a television analyst for about six years mm -hmm. as well. So you're right. He's got the complete package. He for really Fox, a, I think, who yeah, yeah. I think handled the debate yeah. last night. And, and they, did, they put that up on the screen as a matter of transparency. But but uh, the other thing, it's, it seemed to be a little bit... Now, I, I have to just say this about, about Fox. It appeared to be a bit of a circus atmosphere, which they had a hard time controlling at the beginning of the, of the whole broadcast. How did you think the moderators did? Overall, they did well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, one, one thing I d haven't said yet is, uh, to be fair to Donald Trump, I think that first question was a total setup. And of to start off the debate, yeah. I thought it was completely unfair. Everybody knew his position. Everybody knew the other's position. It was so that was such him, a setup. Right? <laughs> to get back to your question, uh, Carlos, one thing that anchors have to do, which people don't realize is a skill, is they have to think on their feet. And one thing Megyn Kelly did, which I thought was brilliant, was when... Uh, when Rand and Christie started going for it, mm -hmm. she started to interject, which they had to do to keep on time, but then she backed off and let him go for it. And I think that was one of the highlights because then it really changed from a forum to a debate. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I think overall the anchors did very well. Yeah. Yeah.
sometimes it's good to know when to just keep your mouth shut, right? And let it happen. <laughs> That's all right. why she's one of the best. Yeah. yeah. All right, John, thank you so much for your, uh, your comments on all of this last night. And of course, we'll have you back. We got lots more debating to talk about. There's one more Republican debate before the Democrats.